Her year they sang, You are everywhere. Selin, an architect working in Istanbul for the company Artemim, has just moved into her new house when one day a strange man appears in her house. Thinking that he is a home intruder, she attacks the man and knocks him out. When Damir wakes up, the police arrive and he explains to them that he is the owner of the house and that he is just returned from living abroad. Selin and Damir learn that they both accidentally bought the same house. Damir attempts to convince Selin to leave and sell him her half of the house, but she refuses, saying that he should be the one to leave. Unknown to Selin, Damir has a special attachment to the house because it was the house he grew up in. Because of their stubbornness, Selin and Damir both refuse to go back down and begin living in the house together. The next day, Selin and her friends at Artemim await the announcement of a new head of the company. Burak is rumored to become the new boss because he is the son of the primary owner. Selin and her friends are shocked to learn that Burak will not become the new boss and that the new boss will come from outside. The new boss arrives. Selin is shocked to discover that Damir has just bought 20% of the company and has become the CEO. Damir's management style is blunt and he causes hysteria among the employees when he announces new, stricter company policies including a ban on office romance that upset Selin's friend who recently became engaged. When Damir tells one of them to find a new job, Selin vows to fight to dislodge Damir from his position to restore the company to its former state. Burak goes to his father to protest Damir's management, but his father signed a contract with Damir stipulating that nobody will interfere with Damir's management while he fights to save Artemim from potential bankruptcy. Selin organizes the company against Damir with a secret plan they call Operation Cheetah. Back at home, Selin and Damir fight over the house with immature antics such as moving each other's possessions outside, locking each other out and attempting to claim various parts of the house from each other. As Damir and Selin struggle over the house, sexual tension grows and they are forced to balance their unique love-hate relationship both in and out of the office. Tatle Intikam – Sweet Revenge Selin, who had nothing but bad luck when it comes to her love life, finally has broken the curse. She is about to marry Tolga, who is the man of her dreams, but something unexpected happens as Tolga runs away from the wedding, leaving Palin heartbroken. Palin is comforted by her friends as she is confronted by a woman who tells her that she is cursed by someone from her past and this is why she is so unlucky in love. Palin starts to question her past along with her friends. Palin suddenly remembers of Tankut who was in love with her while they both were attending the university. It is revealed that Sinan loved Palin, but she rejected his feelings and insulted him in front of all. This left Sinan heartbroken and he quits his studies and left the university. In the present day, Palin tries to search for Sinan everywhere, but she is unable to find him. Later, she goes to a restaurant's opening ceremony and there she finds a completely changed Sinan who is no longer the same person whom Palin had known in the university. He is revealed to be the owner of the restaurant. Pelin tries to ask forgiveness from Sinan but he finds out that she is doing only this for a love life and is not ready to forgive her. Pelin realizes that Sinan will not forgive her that easily and she is ready to do whatever he asks for her. Sinan has every intention of making Pelin back so he starts his game of revenge. But things do not go very well for the two of them. Romance Next Door the penthouse begins with the inclusion of two foreign guests in a large and warm family, Artis and Yasmin, who join this family, living with solidarity and holding on to each other with a tiny lie, will first collide with love under this roof, then be tested with their lies. But they will see friendship, sharing and love over time. The penthouse is actually the story of those who are new to life, those who carry the world on their backs, who knit their nest knot by knot. But above all, it is a love story. It is a story of Atis, Aysen, Demir and Yasmin, whose characters are opposite to each other and come from different social classes and cultures to resist their love at the expense of their families. Kara Tehta – Blackboard Atlas was bullied during his high school years and he left his hometown with his mother. Years later, he was appointed to his own high school as a mathematics teacher. Mariam – Tales of Innocence Mariam a woman who takes the blame she didn't commit for the man she loves. A prosecutor Okte who can do anything for career and power. War who is daunted with revenge after losing the women she loved. An accident on a rainy night changes the lives of these three people. Okte, man of justice, man of power, war in need of justice proceeds on this path. 
Maryam bears the burden of the sins of both men until love is included in the equation and brings justice.